Max Carl Ernst Ludwig Planck, commonly called Max Planck, is a German physicist who was born in Kiel on the 23rd of April, 1858. Emma Planck, the second wife of Johann Julius Willem Planck, gave birth to Max, who was the sixth child of his father. Planck contributed majorly to theoretical physics, but what made him more famous as a physicist was his role as an originator of quantum theory, which transformed human understanding of atomic and subatomic processes. The quantum theory is a theory of matter and energy based on the idea of a distinct quantity of energy corresponding to that involved in the absorption or emission of energy by an atom. Eighteen sixty seven, at the Maximilians Gymnasium School, Planck was tutored by Hermann Muller, a mathematician. This individual took interest in Planck and taught him astronomy and mechanics, as well as mathematics. He graduated in 1877. This is how he first touched the field of physics. Planck was also a musician. He is skilled in playing piano, organ, and cello. He could also sing. He further studied at the universities of Munich and Berlin where he was taught by famous Gustav Kirchhoff and Hermann Helmholtz and received his doctorate of philosophy at Munich in 1879. Planck taught physics and mathematics at his former school in Munich for a short period. In June 1880, he presented his habilitation thesis. Upon completion, he became an unpaid private lecturer in Munich, awaiting an academic position. Despite the fact that he was ignored by the academic community, he continued his work on the field of heat theory and discovered consecutively the same thermodynamical formalism as Gibbs without realizing it. Planck was appointed in 1885 as associate professor of theoretical physics. He proposed a thermodynamic basis for Arrhenius's theory of electrolytic desiccation. In 1892, Planck became a full professor. In 1907, he was offered the Boltzmann position in Vienna, but refused. He published his treatise in thermodynamics in 1897. In 1909, he was invited to become the Ernst Kempton Adams Lecturer in Theoretical Physics at Columbia University in New York City. In March 1887, Planck married Mary Merck, sister of a school fellow, and moved with her into a sublet apartment in Kiel. They had four children, Carl, the twins Emma and Gret, and Erwin. In 1894, Planck turned his attention to the problem of black body radiation. He had been commissioned by electric companies to create maximum light from light bulbs with minimum energy. The problem had been stated by Kirchhoff in 1859. How does the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation emitted by a black body depend on the frequency of the radiation and the temperature of the body? The question had been explored experimentally, but no theoretical experiment agreed with experimental values. Wilhelm Wien proposed Wien's law, which correctly predicted the behavior at frequencies very high, but failed at low frequencies. 
the Religion's Law, another approach to the problem, created what was later known as the ultraviolet catastrophe. But contrary to many textbooks, this was not a motivation for Planck. Planck's first proposed solution to the problem in 1899 followed from what Planck called the principle of elementary disorder, which allowed him to derive Wien's law from a number of assumptions about the entropy of an ideal oscillator, creating what was referred to as the Wien-Planck law. Soon, it was found that experimental evidence did not confirm the new law at all. To Planck's frustration, Planck revised his approach, deriving the first version of the famous Planck black body radiation law, which described the experimentally observed black body spectrum well. Planck was a member of the Lutheran Church in Germany. However, Planck was very tolerant towards alternative views and religions. Planck regarded the scientist as a man of imagination and faith. He said, both religion and science require a belief in God. For believers, God is in the beginning, and for physicists, he is at the end of all consideration. To the former, he is the foundation. To the latter, the crumb of the edifice of every generalized worldview. Later in life, Planck's views on God were that of a deist. For example, six months before his death, a rumor started that Planck had converted to Catholicism. But when questions what had brought him to make this step, he declared that although he had always been deeply religious, he did not believe in a personal God, let alone a Christian God.